be talking to you about logarithmic properties. There is five different rules for logarithmic properties. Product property, power property, quote, quotient property, changes base, and inverse property. Now I'll tell you how to do the power property. The power property is, in my opinion, the harder ones out of all the rules because, uh, for example, a question would give you uh, log, uh, subscript A, then M, N, and ask you to go through power property and finish the problem. So first of all, you would have to move the N uh, around in front of the log. So it'd be N log uh, subscript A, M. And that sometimes confuses a lot of people because some people think that you have to uh, square it or cube the M and all I have to do is uh, move the N over to the front of the log. Now I'll tell you how to do a quotient property. So for a quotient property a problem would, as an example would give you maybe a uh, log uh, subscript A and then M divided by N. Now to change this to a quotient property you would have to do uh, you would first have to put this into two different log forms. So you would have to do log subscript a m minus because every anytime it's divided by you have to subtract the last portion of it. Uh, and then the last portion would be log subscript a of m. You always have to remember uh, the top would always have to go in front of the subtraction sign and anything that's below is always behind the subtraction sign. So that, that's what you would get. Okay, now moving on to change of base uh, property. Um, this is, in my opinion, the easiest because, for example, it's gonna give you a question like uh, log uh, A uh, below and M. So you guys always have to remember, if it asks you to change, the, uh, change of the base, all I have to do is log, and whatever number is bigger or like, above the subscript that always has to go on top of the division problem so it'd be log m and below that you would have to put log a because the a is lower than the m so that's how you do that okay now i'm going to talk about inverse properties this is also another property that also confuses a lot of people um i'll try to explain it as easy as possible so a problem like this would give you uh, something like log a uh, maybe m equals n. So then it would, it would uh, tell you to inverse it. So you would have to do log. No, 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 you wouldn't do log. You do a, you always have to remember m and n, the two uh, numbers next to the equal sign always have to switch. So you'd have to do a, uh, to that n power equals n, and uh, that that's that's probably the easiest way I could explain it. There's probably other ways, but this is how I uh, learned it. Okay, now I'll tell you uh, how to solve problems using a product property. So uh, this will give you a question, maybe like let's say log uh, a m times n. So, for the product pro property, you have to distribute this into two separate log forms. So you'd have to do a uh, log a subscript a m plus log subscript a n. So uh, remember, when it's always multiplication, you always have to add, and that's how you would solve it. Okay, now I'll show you uh, two questions you might see. So th these are basically examples. So first, uh, I want to hit on uh, change of base because I know a lot of uh, people get confused with that. So as an example, I'll put uh, log subscript 3, uh, let's say um, 6, why not? Okay, so it would ask you to cha uh, change the base. So all you would have to do is remember the number that's bigger or higher up than the lower one that always has to go on top of the division equation so you put uh, log 
six. And remember, you don't transfer the subscript to the top. That's that's separate. That's that goes below the log of six. And that would be your answer. Uh, so basically, remember, the number that's bigger always goes on top. The number that's below or smaller always goes on the bottom. So that's one example. Now another example I'm going to show you is how to change the log logarithmic expression into uh, an exponential form. So for example, uh, I have log subscript 4 uh, and x equals 3. So for this, uh, remember, the subscript always is the bigger number in the beginning. So it'd be 4. You would always, as I said, I, both of the numbers by the equal sign always flip. So it would be 4 uh, cubed equals x. Um, and that's how you would solve that. So hopefully you learned something today about logarithmic uh, properties. Uh, I talked about the five uh, rules and I showed you two examples uh, of using those rules. Thank you for watching.